previously on Rob Cameron's Car Vlogs. And before I get started, sorry about my hideous winter rims, 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 rims. Fix that. Dad is currently restoring a boat in the garage right now. So I'm on the street like an animal. All right, how's it going guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about my first impressions of my 2008 Mark V GTI. Um, so far, you know, my impressions have been great. Um, <laughs> it's been a super, super fun car to drive. I have just been enjoying every moment of it. In fact, I just can't wait. I find myself like trying to drive when I, you know, when I, it's not necessary, which you, that's how you know if you, you chose the right car. You just want to drive it and that's the point of me owning this car is I just want to drive it and you know have fun sorry if you can hear that little clicking in the noise it must be my trunk and unfortunately I can't get out right now but yeah the car has been great so the one of the main reasons why I purchased this car specifically is because of the space this car has four doors and a hatchback you know it's a hot hatch so you have a blast driving it but but you also have the you know, the daily driver factor where there's so much space. Um, I've said it before, and I guess I'll say it again. I bought this car actually because I, the main reason I actually switched from a coupe to this car specifically is because I do have a, a puppy. He's a golden retriever. He's going to be really big. So having the four doors where he can have his own window is awesome. And then having the hatch is great for when I do my road trips. Because another reason I kind of didn't really mention is I do a lot of driving. I, I do about a three hour drive every weekend back and forth. So six hours of driving every weekend going back and forth from, from where I live right now to my home city uh, where I spend time with my family and, and yeah. So the space in this car has been great. Um, honestly, no complaints. Actually, you know what? There is one single complaint that I found with this car. Uh, so, sorry, my, my filming setup right now is kind of sketchy. Um, there is no AC. Well, the AC needs to be recharged. There is AC. When I first bought this car, it was uh, well, it was warm out, or sorry, it was cold out. So when I got the inspection done, they said that the AC was working. Um, I, I didn't, I couldn't tell because it was cold out. So you couldn't tell, basically. So, but right now it's about 27 degrees out. <laughs> um, I don't know what that translates to, maybe 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And I am cooking. And I've been having to open my window every now and then. So sorry if that disrupts the video, but, oh, why isn't there any AC? I think it's about $120 to get Volkswagen to recharge it. So probably gonna do that pretty soon. But anyways, for the fun factor, so I just switched over onto my summer tires, and I don't know, obviously you saw from the beginning, I had my winters, my winter tires on, my dedicated winter tires with steelies on, so I wasn't able to get the full impression of what the handling is all about on this car. Because I've heard nothing but great things, but my first impression wasn't as amazing as I thought. 
Um, however, since then I have put my summers on and this car handles on rails. It's really great. Um, the dampening in the suspension is fantastic. I've never really realized how much I appreciate it until this car, but you know, when you're going, it, this car just soaks up the bump so much better than my WRX or my Civic ever did. So this car had just it's so comfortable but yet handles so well it has such a good balance you know it's a hot hatch it does it does everything you can daily drive it you're comfy in it you can fit everything um not only that because of the turbo if you hyper mile it you get just amazing fuel mileage i get about 800 kilometers on the highway which is just insane um however with that being said you know the the fuel tank is bigger on this car than it was on my civic and WRX. so i think well bigger than my civic for a fact I'm not sure about the WRX, I kind of forget. I think it's a little bit bigger, but the fuel mileage is fantastic. This car is just so well balanced. Everything about it, you know, it's just, it's quick. It has the turbo, it has the fun factor, it has the tuning ability. And I'll actually do a quick pull on this stereotypical corner I keep going to to film my videos. Oops, sorry guys. Sorry guys. I just love the noise of a turbo. It's so addicting, and, I, and when I get like an actual mods on my intakes and my exhaust, my turbo back, man, I am. Uh, it's it's easy to beat on this car. Let's just say that because you know you just want to hear that turbo spool, and you just want to feel that boost. So uh, I, it makes sense why these cars can be beat on. As for the handling, like I kind of mentioned before, the suspension is more damp and it's more comfortable. So I will say, I'm not going to be completely biased even though I own this car, is that the handling in my Civic as I was, or sorry, my suspension setup, I guess, the stock suspension setup, was more aggressive, it was more stiff, it was more firm. So in terms of handling, this car is fantastic. However, I will give the edge to my Civic SI, to the 8th gen Civic SI. But in terms of power delivery, in terms of you know fun factor, overall fun factor and overall car, this car is just amazing so far. I really, really love it. I just, yeah, I just find myself wanting to drive all the time. Um, yeah, I, I, I just, honestly, I have no complaints. It's just such a fantastic car. You know, great fuel mileage, uh, you know, just everything. You know, the steering wheel, I hear a lot of people complain about the steering wheel because um, it's not real, I don't know what they say, it's not comfortable, but my impression of the steering wheel is, I have no complaints, I really like the look of it, it has really good grips, um, I hear mixed opinions about it. I really do like the look, it's definitely growing on me. Um, I used to think that the 6th gen, and this obviously does stem from some bias here, but I used to like the 6th and 7th gen a lot more, like the front end and the back end. However, the front end of this car, I really do like. It's it's more unique, I will say that. It kind of reminds me of my blob by Tever Um It's not just like, the, it's not as sharp. It's not as aggressive, I guess I would say, as the newer generations. However, I do really like the look. I think I think it looks great. I, I do hear that the, the topic is a bit polarizing though. Some people really don't like it, but honestly, I can't complain. However, I will say that I do like the rear end of the sixth and seventh gen more. Just scared. Yeah, I just like it more. But the front end, really like it. Um, and also, I guess the other first impression I have is the clutch in this car is interesting. It grabs super late. I actually haven't stalled it yet. I mean, I don't normally stall my cars, but I thought maybe in the transition period because I hear the clutch is so weird that I, I probably would stall it. But I haven't stalled it yet. <laughs> Um, it grabs super late, so that's not a huge issue. It's not a huge issue, but if you're gonna be daily driving this and, and are sitting in traffic, it gets old real fast. However, I do realize that's one of those things that you, that you just eventually get used to, but coming from my Civic with that, with the quicker grab and the shorter throw, um, it's definitely something to get used to. The gearbox is great, I really enjoy it. I, compared to my 8th gen Civic, I would say it's way better than the, than the WRX, especially the 6-speed. Um, the gearing ratio is way better than the WRX, way better. You don't lug your engine as much because you have the better gearing ratio. But in terms of the actual shifter, it's it's great. I hear a lot of people say the throws are a bit too long. Um, I'm not going to disagree. The throws are longer than my, you know, my Civic, for example. Sorry if I keep talking about my Civic, but 
Yeah, that's just the best car I can benchmark um, this car against because it's my most recent car. Uh, the throws aren't as tight and as as accurate as the Civic, but it is still a great shifter. It really, it's more mechanical, whereas like Civic has the more sputtery, silky smooth. Uh, this, this, the shifter is definitely way more, or the gearbox and the shifter, it's definitely just way more mechanical. You feel, you can really feel the gears more, um, and it kind of just depends on your preference at that point, because I like Civics, but I also like this. I honestly couldn't tell you which one I like more. Oh, sorry, it's, it's so hot. Oof. But yeah, guys, this is just gonna be a short video. I just want to do a quick little, you know, introduction on this car. Just kind of talk what it's all about. I've been super happy with this so far. I've been evaluating my options in terms of tuning. Um, I do want to wait a little bit. I'm actually gonna get some of the preventive maintenance done, which is like the cam follower. The timing belt has already been done, so I will. I do want to get it in the shop and make sure you know everything's running well. Get that cam follower replaced. Make sure you check out the the fuel pump. Just make sure that if I do go into tuning, I, I'm not gonna you know just just blow my engine like my Dever X. So. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be doing that, so don't expect tuning and modifications video videos really soon. Um, also, another thing, so I'm used to like you know, for example, Subaru, where the ECU kind of has issues, you know, adjusting to intakes and exhausts. With GTIs, I don't, I can't find a, like a great answer, but are they able to handle modifications without you know a full tune? I, I don't. I, I know that you're not going to get the power gains, but for example, I want to hear my turbo just because I love it. Um, if I were to throw in like the cold air intake, a K and N cold air intake system, am I going to have issues? If anyone knows, please comment down below because I'm actually very curious. But anyways, guys, that's basically it. I just I really love this car. Everything about it has just been great. I have literally no complaints besides. Uh, Besides, I guess, the no AC, but other than that, that's not a big deal, though. I've had cars with no AC before, like my Del Sol and my Prelude had AC, but it didn't really have AC because it was need, needed to be recharged, too. Uh, I guess uh, one other thing is these seats are really great. Um, I'm used to cloth, so switching back over to, like, the full leather um, was a bit weird because leather's just naturally like more stiff but i do really like the seats however i would have liked you know the og golf seats more just my just my preference but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little video of my first impressions on my mark 5 gti thanks for watching guys